Another mod, guys. This one is also pretty interesting. Let me just scroll down to show you what the mod is. Basically, there's a new option. All fortified. You can choose to make every balloon fortified. Not just fortified leads, rams, and mob class, but fortified red balloons too. Balloons that you don't normally see fortified can be fortified with this option. So let me check it out right here. See this? This little icon here? All fortified. We're also going to do it on a nice little custom map. It's called Brickout. Apparently it's from BTD5 expansion. See this? All fortified. Let's go. ABR, because I feel like playing different rounds. And no knowledge, and no selling. So, how the hell do we start here? Sniper would not be very good. That's for one. Now there would a water tower. I guess it would be towers you could see through walls. That would only be Alchemist right now, though. Blue Bloon? You notice, yeah, we don't pop it because it has a lot of HP. And actually, I might not, might not be able to beat this first round. I might need more starting cash. Takes a damn while to pop. The Red Bloons? They got too much HP, too. I believe Red Bloons, they have 4 HP. Alright, I'm giving myself more money. More money. Double starting cash mode. Let's go. Now, we are talking. I have money to buy things. Can I try a 2 zero, zero wizard? Uh, the range might be crappy. Dark Monkey? I need a Intense Magic for Pierce. Yeah, you like that loop? 2 damage every shot from that. Sounds good. Unfortunately, it doesn't have very good range, at least for the exit here. This is a hard map. Aw, oh, we're dead. I'll try Heli, although I'm not sure if it's good enough. Actually, it's pretty good. This could work. I wonder if they regrow too. Man, if you have to do 5 HP before it regrows, that would be nutty. So, I can't get count my Heli. Well, I guess Heli isn't our option then. It can still be though, maybe I get Ninja? A little bit late for Ninja, but whatever. Better, better than n never, you know? It didn't even pop a balloon. Amazing. So, 022 Dart is good enough to do 4 HP, 4 damage. Now I just need a Crossbow, and then we're talking. Or Triple Shot, but I'd rather get Crossbow. Also, how am I beating Leads? Black Bloon, alert. This is bad. Oh god, there's two Black Bloons. And my heli is so slow. It took so long to beat a, a bl black one there. This will not be pretty. Well, there goes my mana shield, or my spikes. This round is a disaster. Waiting to happen. And we're dead, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll buy triple shot then. I have to. I can't beat the camo uh, blue. I am left with no shot here, guys. Also, where would I place Churchill? This map is actually sneaky hard. They may say it's intermediate, but that's mostly because it's like long. But the line of sight is awful on this map. Maybe I'll need 100 lives? I should have done that, eh? Why'd I put one life no selling? That was dumb. I'm just shooting myself in the foot. Perishing potions? Yeah. If I could afford that early game, I would. I can't even sell, so that kind of sucks. Oh man, they're regrowing. Uh-oh. This round's death. You know what? I might just give myself more lives. Like, just do plain ABR. Don't do these extra modifiers. Because I don't think we stand a chance here. Somehow we're alive, though. <laughs> Round 9. By some miracle. I want quad darts and then try to go for a perishing. I would think perishing gets rid of the fortified on these balloons. Yeah, shattering and perishing. Literally the goats. Wait, I can't beat a lead. I have Sniper. Sniper. I can't afford it. Alright, beat Blues and then we afford it. Got it. And dead. Alright. We're gonna restart and give ourselves normal lives and selling. Let's do 2,000 starting cash. We need to give ourselves some uh, leeway here. Because we got nothing right now. 
if I can, if I have 2k to start, I should do this. I, as stupid as it sounds, an 0 2 oh heli. Early game is the play. For real. That heli is super fast. You have no idea. This is it right here, folks. So now I can rush a Perishing Potions. And that'll act as my lead popping. For round 10. Now we can actually start this game. We finally have enough for everything. Camo. Lead. Not camo lead, but we don't have to worry about that for a while. But yeah, I need I need a Perishing. Quadrant is starting to struggle. And it's only 13. Spam Perishing. Spam Perishing. Got it? It's gonna make rounds so much easier. Why not Acid Pool? It's a good question, but the main reason is that faster firing is too expensive. Right now I have no money early game, so I just want larger pots. Like, you gotta spend 1k plus on that crap. I'm also dead 15 here. This round is actually hard. I'm not dead. Somehow. I need a spam perishing man, because I'm pretty sure I missed a lot of fortifies there. Aspo will be nice though. Unfortunately, they, swip they swapped the pads. I definitely would have if it was uh, first path, Aspo. The one time the swap actually hurts us. You see all those fortifies I'm missing? There's just too many. One Alp just can only do so much. I have 24 lives, so 6 lives essentially. Because 4 HP. 6 HP, 2 HP, and I'm dead. Alright, I got 1100. Oh, I have an idea. Spike Factory. Good. That will help me just let balloons leak. So I can focus my heli to DPS instead of uh, focusing the exit. You know what I mean? Glue would be nice. Yeah, glue plus alk combo. Very pog. But let me get a sniper first. Needs to be a camo 110. I don't believe I have a choice here. I also believe I'm dead this round. Oof, my alchemist is missing a lot. Let me go for a glue gunner. 101 glue soak. Actually, yeah, 101. I need. I need sniper, so I'm not gonna spend too much. I can go for this now, actually. Alright, one more round. And we're there. We're so close. Yeah, glue will clump it, so my alchemist will hit everything. Very big brain. Very good idea. Also, this map is bugged, so the sniper didn't hit there. Very weird. Okay, we gotta go for a camo right now. This round is absolutely death. Okay, let's go back. I have to sell the spike factory for a 300 sub. Man. The lengths we are going through to beat this right now. I can't even afford it. I need to sell both. Wow. Ouch. I'm pretty sure this sub misses a lot too. It's not the best spot for a... decamo. We're dead. Alright. Spike Factory, 301, no glue. And again. I need the faster decamo with the sub. I'm pretty sure I have no choice. If I play this slower, I might have a chance. Right now, we're doing really good. Straight line, heli. Very epic. I don't need to get every balloon. I can let a few tank, because Spike Factory OP. The yellows are a big problem. Big, big, big problem. But Spike Factory OP, right? Right? Wow. You know, I wonder if Long Reach does help. Lifespan. Barely, though. Long life. Long live the long life spike. And wow, we are alive. Get me out of this early game, please. Perishing has to defortify a lot of balloons, otherwise I'm like still screwed. I can't get my hero right now. The money ain't there. Yeah, I think a 012 ice would work. A 012 ice. Let me try. Like, if we get balloons in the radius, they never get through. That's my thinking. So the moment we freeze something, it's stuck there forever. And then perishing, oh yeah. That's an epic combo. Right there. Unfortunately, I have no spike factory. But, doesn't matter. Ice the goat. Seriously the goat, wow. I can't believe I didn't think about this tower. 
The permafreeze. It's really good. Ice Tower is OP, man. What can I say? This thing changed our fortunes. This guy just saved humanity right here. Come on, Churchill money is right there. Come on, straight line, got it? Now that is going to help. Quite a bit, but yeah, I still need more perishing. No, fortifieds are four times HP. That's why it's so hard. It's not 2x like mobs are. It's 4x. Also, this sub misses, misses camo, so I die. We're missing a lot of camos. I'm dead. Alright, well, let me see what I can do to change that. Oof. It's a lot of balloons that just leak, run through us. This piercing was a mistake. Let me see if I can get a new one here. All the way in the back. So, yeah. that's That was a dumb move. This might be better, though. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah, night and day. Alright, well, this guy's gonna be an acid pool. If I can afford him. That first acid pool up there was a mistake. I need one as a backup. Pools do defortify. That's why it, it's amazing. It's one of the few times you want an O2-2. So let me get out buff for this guy. I already got him anyway, so let's see. That was a dumb timing. Why'd I do that? Alright, we played that horribly. We timed Churchill at a bad time, but it, it worked. I'll take it. Guys, we got a squad right now. Let me get a uh, air burst. Yeah, we're, we're making stacks now. I think we can afford to get some upgrades, like jungle drums. And maybe, because it's ABR, I can make money. I might go for uh, merchantmen. Could go for farms, but I'm lazy. Okay, I think we're set now. The first 40 rounds took about 45 minutes. This last 55 is going to take 10. Trust me. All I need is the shattering shells and then we are solid. Before that, I'm going to get a few more perishing though. A few more one two zeros, Because again, they're good mob damage. So why wouldn't you? Why do I want to go for the shattering? I'm not sure. I do want to balloon generation late game for DDTs. Because you can't defortify, well, ZMGs or DDTs with shattering. I'll need a bit more for that. How is our mob damage? It's looking better now. Four fortifieds incoming. I think we need to spam more one two zeros. So who's ready? Delicious. So 024. And I need 486. So let me go for some uh, farms. The lazy farms. So marketplaces. Now that we're set. We deserve a nice little break from the action. After that early game. What would be a good tower now? Now we got this. Maybe Apache? Yeah, the full map range with Apache would be great. Let's do it. I think late game, before I go for my, uh, this guy, because obviously not until round 90, don't need it for a while. I think an Apache would be great. Just leave it on pursuit. Kick back and relax. Oh crap, fortified zoom G, right. I am going to need to micro this. Forgot about that. Oh well. I guess we're getting Blue Sin then, instead of Apache Prime first. That's fine by me. But yeah, I gotta defortify these BFBs. No matter what. No matter what the cost. And now it's super easy. Another fortified ZMG. We're so close. I could actually sell to get it. But I'm good. Let me just use Churchill again, come on. Gotta bring it before it gets past Churchill. You gotta love the street line though. It's a good spot. If only the walls were in the way. Now the only thing we can't do fortify is fortified bads, but that's fine. We can just beat it down with raw damage. Wait, it doesn't defortify ZMGs. I forgot that. For some reason I thought it defortified. It only works on DTs, I guess. Huh. I I don't use this tower enough to realize that. I just thought it did. That kinda sucks. It's that snowball effect, man. Once you get those farms, it's so easy. Fortify, yeah, the DTs are gone too. I might get a more glue too. Ah, uh, wrong path, let me just sell it. I have so much money at this point, I don't even care. Let me just get, yeah, stalling. If I can leave my, uh, um, balloons in place, that would be amazing. 
And yeah, let's get the bad damage ready. What's the fastest way to kill a bad? Probably a mad. Mad's insane, yeah. I think it's just it's just mad. Let's get mad. I'll sell the A prime if I have to for it. As I said, the last 55 rounds, 10 minutes. It's all about that hard early game. That got us stumped. 48,000? I need 70... Okay, yeah, let me just sell this. Sub. Ability, just to get rid of the fortified. It's a bit slower than I thought. It's fine. Hey, on this map, the map can shoot over the walls. That's awesome. Otherwise, I would be in some trouble. Go, 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 mad. Churchill. And finish it all off for me, please. Nice. That's the all fortified mod. Basically, again, all fortified balloons have 4x HP. Which made early game absolutely nutty, but once you got those defortifying towers, it's a nice breeze from there. Good game.